you guys? After Share Reacts here, and today I'm going to be reacting to some more of The Flash. This is season 6, episode 13. Let's get into the episode. What's. I'm confused. Guys! I saw the alert. Meta attack downtown. I'm on my way. Sounds good, Flash. Camilla? Is that you? Yeah. And Chester P. Ronxer, ready to assist you. Okay, no worries. I'll do this solo. That was uh, a are really you sure you don't weird want some intro. What was I mean, I am, I am ready, willing, and caffeinated, sir. Thanks, Chester, but I'm good. <gasps> oh my god! I thought you were a good guy now, though. I guess it seems to change. Seems precious. Oh my god! Hartley Rathaway. Since when are you a diamond thief? It's Pied Piper, Flash. And you're really gonna ask me that after what you and your friends did to me? What did we do? Wow, Flash. How do you not remember? It was really bad. Oh, great. Another crisis change. Apparently, there's something else you don't remember. The gauntlets are just my backup singers. Wait, what? Oh, what? He can fly now. Rathaway's at 52nd and Palm. All right, I'm on it. I'll take Broadway. Uh, I wouldn't do that, sir. Why not? Because there's a... Since when was there a train here? Since always. Why Why is he only now experiencing the new changes? Like, we've, we've been here, like, a couple of episodes ago. Barry Allen is a flash. Oh. Yeah, I already knew that. What? <laughs> Actually, you know what? When I think about it, it does kind of make sense. The whole Star Lab super facility, plus the same voice every time the flash came to visit me at the Mac. And that jawline, though, very distinctive. Remember when he used to modulate his voice? Oh, analysis that. complete, Barry Allen. I've calculated approximately 3.725 trillion changes. Would you like to hear them in order of causality? <laughs> Is this a mobile interactive artificial intelligence unit? Yeah, it, it is. I, I'm, I'm just trying to upgrade it. Really? Mm hmm You know, if you just flip the positronic solenoid... You don't touch hey, it! No, please, I'm, you don't mess with that. It's sensitive stuff, and I, you know, you're not on the team, Chester. Totally. Uh, I guess I'll cross the whole... Okay, so this, is, this is Chester joining the team at this possibilities. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'm jitters bound. You know, this morning when I got the meta alert, I was trying to find my parents' graves. Oh. There's not even a cemetery there anymore. I've searched every graveyard in Central City. I still can't find them. Maybe they're alive. <sighs> it just feels like a piece of me is missing. I'll bet hearing different voices on comms doesn't help either. You want something familiar. It's not us. Yeah, I didn't mean it like that. But... It's okay, Barry. I understand. Just of course she does. Take She's it such easy, a great girl. I love her. If he seems a little overeager. It's because he idolizes the Flash. You're his hero. I'll uh, let you get back to it. Why do you always act like you've known me forever? It's weird. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's not true, is it? I'm such a liar. What? I mean, yes, the residual particle. I want to know what this is about. Is Thank you. So, if you would, please, can you um, help me uh, charge it? Just blast it with a ultra-powered UV ray right there. Where? There, right. Just aim for the absorption pad on the front pylon. Thank you. Okay. That contraption is not going to work. Like Sherlock wouldn't know that. He was like different kinds of smarts. He wasn't science smart. Yeah. Are you okay? Who the hell is she? That's it's just someone I used to know. Well, she looks a lot like my doppelganger. Why do you have a picture of her? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does to me. Dude, this is too weird. 
You know, I had a feeling something was off with you from the beginning, but I kept ignoring it because I was just happy to find another person who actually believed in me. Okay. But this I... whole time, when you looked at me, you saw this other person. That is messed up, you know? I feel like you're overreacting just a little bit. All right. Let's try this again, Gideon. <laughs> That's why people shouldn't touch the technology that aren't part of the team. Why are you in a cage for? Oh, Caitlin. Thank God. What the, what the hell is going on? Quite the little chatterbox today, aren't we? Why are you talking to me like that? Easy, killer. Thought. You're quite the specimen, aren't you? Go to hell. I don't know how you managed to drag me back to the past. Whatever all this is, I will stop you. Cranky. Why did you offer him the B word? <laughs> Maybe he just needs some privacy. I'm gonna go check on Ronnie. He's working on a new space he's very excited about. He's calling it the pipeline. Hmm. The pipeline. I like the sound of that. Caitlin. I'll come with you. Caitlin. Caitlin! Do not trust him! I can't help you if you won't talk to me. Use your signs. What are you doing? Can you just not understand Nothing. what he's saying? What's going on? Well, everybody's got good days and bad days. Gorillas are no different. Hello? Why do they think you're a gorilla? Are you Grodd? Oh, okay. Why? Like, why? What is going on? This isn't the past. It's a mindscape. That's right, Mary Allen. You're in Grodd's mind now. So what, the cage is payback? But you want vengeance? Not vengeance, understanding. God wants Barry Allen to see what it's like to have nothing. No powers, no freedom, only captivity. Caitlin used a neural inhibitor, inhibitor to shut down, down Grodd's cerebrum. Caitlin betrayed Grodd. But you, you gave, gave her the authority. authority. This, this is your doing, doing flash. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Your mind is a weapon. You take a weapon from a man. He's still a man. You took Grodd's mind. Grodd's greatest gift. That is not punishment. That is cruelty. Pure cruelty. No. Not from where I'm standing. You marched an army of guerrillas through Central City. You forced me into a gladiator arena with Salivar. Yeah. You weaponized King Shark's telepathic crown so you could control thousands of innocent people. Face it, Grodd. You got what you deserved. You are right. It took Grodd a, a year to find the strength to think intelligently again. And in, in that, that time, time Grodd, Grodd had many primitive thoughts. And without the power of higher thinking, Grodd could no longer lie to himself and was forced to confront the truth of his actions, his wrongdoings, his crimes. Your the accident, accident allowed Grodd to enter your, your mind, mind, not, not to, to harm Flash. But to, to ask for Flash's help. The neural inhibitor, inhibitor put a gatekeeper, gatekeeper in Grodd's mind. The portal that, that gatekeeper guards is the only way out of this prison. Help Grodd. Grodd, Grodd is sorry. Grodd, Grodd has changed. It's just a super intelligent gorilla who just kidnapped me. Who won't even show his face. Once Flash to trust him. Have we had a broad episode every season? That's not cool. Your powers are returned. Please, Flash, help Grodd defeat the Gatekeeper. Nice try, Grodd. But you'll never change. You're exactly where you belong. When Ramsey decided to take a little vacation inside Barry's brain, Cisco and I decided to work on the memory machine just in case blood work decided to resurface. How does this all work? In a mindscape, the host transmits neural signals to the guest primary motor cortex. If we can sync up with those neural transmitters, I feel like I think we Frost can shouldn't with Barry, know this like kind of stuff, but device. sure. Sweet. I can't help but feel like they're the same person now. <laughs> they don't feel very distinct Barry. from each other. Frost, you and me outside. 
Let's go. Time to get out of here. Salivar, you're the gatekeeper? <laughs> to fight. As far as I'm concerned, Grodd can stay in this coma forever. I am the warden of this prison, Flash. None shall escape. Not even you. Crazy. Barry's body is reacting to whatever's happening in the Mindscape. So if he dies in there, he dies out here too? Correct. Do you have any sedatives? No, those don't work on speedsters. No, 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 no. I'm in, I'm in for me. <sighs> Uh, Frost, you got that look Cisco has before he throws a bunch of science words at us that basically means we're cracked. The um. things traveling to Barry's cortex are moving at a hyper neural speed. We've only seen one other brain whose neurons can fire this fast. Is she perk it? Barry's in Grodd's mind. Gorilla Grodd? Damn, yo, he is like my Sorry, favorite. Sorry, I just saw like a bit ever. of a he's belly. Like super strong and super smart. And Barry is super trapped in his mind, which is very, very bad. We modified Grodd's telepathic crown to keep him in a coma at Argus. But its neural inhibiting capabilities can only sustain one mind. Before long, the mindscape will overload and crumble. If that happens and Barry's still inside, he would die. Can't we just call Argus and ask them to shut it off? Uh, no. If we do that while Barry's still connected to Grodd's mind, he'll be trapped in there forever. I still don't understand how this happened. How did Grodd get inside Barry's mind? Because of me. When I tweaked this earlier, I adjusted its hypothalamic connection by a factor of 900%. And Barry was wearing that. That's why you don't touch things you don't understand. I am so sorry. I, I never should have came here. This is all my fault. Yeah, it is. Sorry, I, I don't know, like... He just hey. touched something that, like, How's you is running amused. away gonna help us get Barry out of Grodd's mind? Because if I'm not around, at least I can't make things worse. <laughs> Look, I hate to break it to you, but accidentally putting Barry's life in danger is kind of a rite of passage around here. We've all done it. Uh, when Flash sees Grodd, he sees a enemy from his past. Grodd wants Flash to see a face he can trust. And having me fight Solivar was supposed to make me trust you. Grodd thought Flash could beat him. Well, you were wrong! He almost killed me! But that was your plan, wasn't it? No. What's that? What's happening? Is that Solivar? This world is crumbling. The neural inhibitor could no longer take the strain of two minds. What happens to this mindscape if it fails? Both Grodd and Flash die. So what, we just together. had Hartley at the beginning of the episode for- You wanted revenge there so is... badly that you were willing to die just to take me with you. No. Grodd has changed. Nothing could ever make you change. Not even the crisis of infinite worlds. How do you know about crisis? Grodd's mind wasn't affected by the merging of the multiverse. But Grodd can still sense changes in this reality. Changes like Gorilla City. City is here now. The gorillas are here now. Grodd knows this. Grodd wants to return home. Why? So you can create another army to attack Central City, just destroy everyone in your path? That is who Grodd used to be. That Grodd wanted power. Power didn't bring happiness. It brought pain. New Grodd wants a new path. Grodd wants to live in peace with his own kind. Gorilla City is the only place Grodd ever, ever felt happy. Until you tried to take it over. Find the truth. You really have changed. Flash didn't believe Grodd before, but why does Flash believe Grodd now? You let go of the past. Maybe I should do the same. Crisis has changed so much. I've been obsessed with trying to keep things the way they were before, but I can't. Those things don't matter. If Flash can't beat Solovar, there's no escape. This world collapses, we both die. That's our fate. No. 
We decide our fate. That's because you brought him here. Brad Solovar beat me because I tried to fight him the exact same way I fought him three years ago. To get out of here, we just have to try something new. We have to run forward, not backward. How? By fighting together. Of course it's a breach, though. This crowd, together. Rod is At least ready. they haven't changed their effects to look like Doctor Strange portals like an other show that I've seen. I like that they can just do their portals. What is it? Barry and Grodd, their cerebral activity is sinking. Okay, forget synced. Their neural pathways just merged. Their brain waves are literally the same. Yeah, he's got a little bit there. It feels impossible. I know. Now get ready. This time we're on the same team. Oh my god. You're literally Firestorm, but fla you're Flashstorm! Grodd will never leave. You have my powers, Grodd, and my knowledge of how to use them. Now get us out of here. Grodd understands. Well, that was easy. The neural comm link is working. There isn't much time. The world is going to split apart. Grodd thinks lightning can save him. Nothing can save Grodd. Uh, Fairy, we've got bigger problems than Solovar right now. I know. Grodd's mindscape is falling apart. Actually, this is worse. <laughs> What can be worse than this? If you exit the mindscape with your brainwave still merged, you will end up in one body. Brundle flash. Gross. And what's worse is the resulting physiological conflict will cause every brain cell to shut down. The resulting form would... We both die. There is no escape. Get super speed! Please! Solovar's winning. Come on, Barry. How's it going, Chester? Please let this work. Grodd stinks. Don't listen to him, Grodd. You hear me? That's it. Get the hell up and run, Grodd. Run! Yeah, that's right. Please. Almost there. Whatever you guys are doing, do it now. Every so solitary you. database within a 700 mile radius. Found them. Well, that's nice. I don't remember. Thank you, Chester. <laughs> Do you mind manning the comms? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Uh, according to our satellites, it is Rathaway. Again? Pied Piper's back, baby. I'm gonna need all the help I can get to take him down. Are you ready? Oh, hell yeah. That's never gonna get old. <laughs> Alright, what's going on here? What did you do to us? They bought us time. There's no need for you to suffer. Okay. I'm not interested in this. I'm not interested in the stuff with Allegra, to be honest. 
Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. I don't know if I like Allegra. She's very, she's always yelling at people. <laughs> like, I feel like she's, I don't know, she hasn't earned, to me, I feel like she hasn't earned the ability to yell at my beloved characters, so I don't know. I'm not even sure I like Chester all that much either. I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're newbies and it's hard to like get attached to a new character this late in the show. Um, I don't know. But it's I don't know. It's just weird, right? You guys can let me know what you guys think. Um, how you feel about those two characters? I don't know. Um. Yeah, we have Grodd this episode, which apparently is reformed. Um, what was the hell? What was the go with Hartley? I don't know. Um, random cameo this episode, or we're going to be dealing with it next episode? I don't know. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.